All right, so the routine is this. Touching the muffler here. This thing needs to warm up. It's a two stroke, it's a small displacement. You turn the gas on. Tickle the carburetor until a little bit of gas comes out. I can feel it on my finger. That's what she said. You push the button in, the generator light comes on. Put the choke on, which is forward. I'll set this down. I open the throttle about halfway to three quarters. Start the bike. Let it warm up. Turn the choke on. when it's ready to idle. idle for it to be warm and I want a real low idle. You can always turn it up. I have the idle set so it does idle nice and low when it's warmed up. It's just a simple screw. You turn this key on here, you got your, you got your normal light, turn it this way, so then this just pulls out a little bit. You can see there's a little paint flake on the head light bucket, which is not uncommon for a bike that's 60 years old or whatever. There's not a whole lot, a few, a couple little paint scratches on the front fender. They're very superficial. There's not any dents. There's a little paint flake on the uh, original paint on the rim. See, there's some surface rust. Ooh, that's hot now, getting hot. Surface rust on the header. A little surface rust on the uh, cylinder. These are new petcocks, not leaking. There's a new coil wire, a new cap, new plug. I put a, maybe a thousand miles on it, if that, over the last couple years. That's an old rubber. That's an old rubber, original rubber. This is a new kickstart rubber. This is a new seat, complete. These are original buckle bags from the period. They come off very easily. You just hand turn these two uh, screws and it pulls right off. It's a little frame inside it. Same thing on this side. Old leather buckos. I had one, one of these bags stitched a little bit where the stitching was coming out. Let's see if I can show you the brake light. Tail light's fine. It's got a crack in it. A couple cracks, but it's not falling apart. Turn the key off. This is an aftermarket cap. I have the original. It's got some dents in it. Mobile mix it. Mark and all we 
Verwinda, whatever that means. Back apart. 1952, America had the uh, market on oil in uh, Iran and wherever else. Some cool markings on there. It tells you how much oil to put in the cup to mix with the strainer. Goes on there. Dampener's nice. Original aftermarket. Light, I put new grips on it. Cables are, I think, original. They're maybe a little fray here, but otherwise, a little crack there, but nothing big. Uh, I don't know if these tank rubbers are original. I think they are because they're kind of hard, but they're not cracked. I think this bike was stored inside. The tank's been lined professionally, cleaned and lined. It has the original horn. Toolbox actually has the original tools, which I'll show you. Put a new battery on it. There's the brake lever, new tubes in the tires. You can see there's an air pump. The original air pump is on it. It's right here. Comes off easily. an original badge these original tank badges the guy I gave the tank to uh, decided to do me a favor which I was upset about and he filled in the paint and cleaned up these badges but I'm an original guy there's some of the tools they're all here the various spanners pliers Banner for the header nut, tire changing tool. Inside here, there's a screwdriver, and unbelievably, a couple more sockets, the hand turn. Unbelievably, it has the original steering lock and you have to turn the wheel to the left find the sweet spot you can't use two hands with this let's see yeah. Maybe it's to the right, I can't remember. I need two hands. can't get it to work right now I've never had that issue but anyway that locks the steering column you just keep it in your bag it's the original bag and uh, it shifts great brakes great you know for the time headlights fine original paint bike it's pretty cool probably could use the exhaust uh, the black painted dual fishtail exhaust that's about it.